Good morning. I am Gabe. And I am Chris. And here are the announcements for the week of January 10th. There will be no announcements next week due to minimum days next week. We will not have block schedule on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. It is Jeremiah, what are you getting your family for Christmas? Um, I honestly don't know because I only got thirty dollars in my wallet and I don't even know what to get them because I don't even know that much. Matcha. But I just know that's my only family. I'm gonna give them love. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ms. Jacobs, what are you get getting your family members for Christmas? Uh, my parents asked my brothers and I to pay for Christmas dinner, so that's what we're doing. Okay, thank you. Ms. Johnstone, what are you getting your family members for Christmas? Well, for starters, Mr. Johnstone is definitely getting coal because he was not the best um, behaved this year. And my daughter, I got her a giant wooden playhouse that I have to now build that I didn't really think about. And my boyfriend, I got him a really cool, like, limited edition encyclopedia for his favorite video game, Halo. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Axel, what are you getting your family members for Christmas? V-Bucks. V-Bucks? What is your name? Rovin. What are you getting your family for Christmas? Uh, clothes and books. Okay, thank you. CD. <clears throat> what are you getting your family members for Christmas? <laughs> Nacho fries. Nacho fries, yeah. <laughs> Thompson, what are you getting your family members for Christmas? Uh, probably gift cards. I don't know what else to put. Okay. <laughs> Eric, what are you getting your family members for Christmas? V-Bucks. V-Bucks? Alright. No! Stop asking me these questions, bro. This is personal stuff, man. <laughs> Maria, what are you getting your family members for Christmas? I'm getting my little brother toys and the rest a hug. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Kenneth, what are you getting your family members for Christmas? Uh, food. Food? Okay. What is your name? Fabian. What are you getting your family for Christmas? I might get them clothes or perfume. Okay, thank you. New Year's resolution? Uh, make more friends. Alright. What's your New Year's resolution? Um, getting like a C or B in math and losing weight. Alright. Oh, what's your New Year's resolution? Let's become better at soccer. Alright. Oh, what's your New Year's resolution? Probably to lose weight. Alright. What's your New Year's resolution? I'm trying to go to the gym, man. Alright. What's your New Year's resolution? Losing, losing five pounds. Alright. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's your New Year's resolution? Is have fun, get presents, and have a great time with your family. Oh, uh, what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to do my work in class, never give up, encourage others, and do my best. That's cool. What's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to get good grades. That's cool. All right. Uh, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, I think to just take more deep breaths. All right. <laughs> what's your New Year's resolution? To get money. All right. What's your New Year's resolution? To not fail. All right.
It is progress report time. We are halfway through trimester two, which means <clears throat> we are halfway done with the school year. Make sure you are turning in late work if your teacher accepts it and getting those grades up. Progress reports will be sent home soon. Good boy. Yeah, good fish. Yeah. Good, good fish. Um, people will be regarded more as statistics than as actual people. I don't think it's going to be so nice. I think sort of all machines everywhere, everyone doing everything for you, you know, you'll get all bored and I don't think it'll be so nice. First of all, there's computers are taking over now. Computers and automation. And in the year 2000, there just won't, won't be enough jobs to go around. And the only jobs there will be will pe be for people with high HQ, you know, high IQ, who can work computers and such things. And other people are just not going to have jobs. There just aren't going to be jobs for them to have. Malachi. Okay, Malachi, what do you think life is going to be like in 40 years? I'm over 45. I just might die. What? Damn. Who am I speaking to? Callie. Okay, what do you think life is going to be like in 40 years? Dad. Hello, who am I speaking to? Anthony. Yeah. What do you think life is going to be like in 40 years? Flying cars. <laughs> sure. Hello, who am I speaking to? Bryson. Okay, what do you think life is going to be like in 40 years? The cure for cancer. <laughs> nice. Well, who am I interviewing? Mr. Double. 
Hello, Mr. W. I'm going to be asking you a question. What do you think life is going to be like 40 years from now? For me, I probably won't be here because that would put me over 100 years old. Uh, but I think it's just going to have a lot more technology than we have today. There'll be little implants in your brain that'll allow you to access the internet. Okay, thank you. Who am I speaking to? Okay, what do you think uh, the world's going to be like in 40 years? Uh, there's going to be grass. Nice. Hey, who am I talking to? Miley. Okay, what, is your, what do you think the world's going to be like in 40 years? Um, I think it's going to be completely destroyed because of inflammation and uh, climate change. How do you think life's going to be like 40 years from now? There's going to be floating hoverboards. All right, thank you. What's your name? Antonio. Hello, Antonio. I'm gonna be asking you a question. What do you think life is gonna be like 40 years from now? Um, I think I think they're gonna be robots and Albert Einstein. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Nicholas. What do you think life will be like in 40 years? The same, but we might have no oil. Damn. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What do you think life is gonna be like 40 years from now? Uh, flying cars. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to be asking you a question. What do you think life is going to be like 40 years from now? Robot servants. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to be asking you a question. Mm -hmm. What would uh, life be like while, uh, 40 years from now? I hope life would be like a lot cleaner, a lot safer, and hopefully really advanced technology where we could just teleport from one country to the other. Okay, thank you. I'm going to be asking you a question. What do you think life is going to be like 40 years from now? With machines, robots, and, and flying chairs. Okay, thank you. I'm going to be asking you a question. What do you think uh, life is going to be like 40 years from now? Uh, there's going to be flying cars. There's going to be a bunch of robots roaming around. Uh, for We don't need to drive anymore. There's going to be no more steering wheel. Having a steering wheel is going to be like having a horse on the road. So okay, thank you. I'm going to be asking you a question. What do you think life is going to be like 60 years from now? I'm going to be old and retired. Okay, thank you. On Friday, January 20th, the 7th graders will be going to the Tech Museum for a field trip. It is important that you get permission slips to your advisory teachers this week. Tell your advisory teacher if you need another slip. We need more chaperones as well, so have your trusted adult be a chaperone, and you'll get to choose one of your friends to be in a group for the day. Tell your trusted adult that you'll be riding on the bus with us and it will pay for the ticket. It is completely free for them to attend. We're going to be looking at lost and found stuff. First, there's a belt, there's some sweaters, some jackets, there's a hat. Then there's water bottles, gloves, airpods, earbuds, glasses, and a notebook. So, go to the health office if they're yours, and get them. Hello Shepard, I'm in Athens, Greece, and I'm standing across from the hill that's called the Acropolis. On top of the Acropolis is the Parthenon. It was built by Pericles in the 5th century before Christ, so almost 3,000 years old. The Parthenon is in honor of the god uh, goddess Athena, and they're celebrating Athens' victory over the Persians. The Persians were a very powerful empire, and the victory of that, of the Athens over them is uh, monumental. So um, if you look at it, it was one of the contenders for the seven wonders of the world, but it didn't make it. Um, I'm guessing that maybe because a lot of it is missing, if you can s see it, um, it's just kind of the ruins of it and the shell of it, but a lot of the surrounding ruins are missing. A lot of the stones were used to build houses and churches around the ruins, but it's still very impressive.
And the beaches aren't that far away. Greece is kind of famous for its beaches. I haven't been to them yet, but I'll be going there in the next couple days. This is the 20th country that we've been to on our sabbatical. So, number 20. Who's your favorite elementary school teacher? I say I'm hard. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Stop. Who's your favorite elementary school teacher? My favorite teacher, Ms. Keechon. All right, thank you. Who is your favorite elementary school teacher? So, that was a while ago, but one, um, my fifth grade teacher, her name was Sister Nancy, and she, she was very strict, I remember, but I always remember her just being very silly, willing to like make us laugh. Um, but she did run a tight ship. But yes, she was like one of my favorites. Okay, thank you. No Hi, what's your name? Abraham. Who is your favorite elementary school teacher? Mr. Hudson. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Mariah. Who is your favorite elementary school teacher? First grade teacher because she gave us root beer floats. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Oliver. Who is your favorite elementary school teacher? Um, so I have three. They're, these don't really count, but I had them while I was in elementary, and it was like around third to fourth grade. Um, one was my photography teacher, um, Mrs. Simon. Um, and my second one was my art teacher, um, Miss D. Um, they've both been supporting me since today, so I love them like a lot. Okay, thank you. Hi, Johnson. Who's your favorite elementary school teacher? My favorite elementary school teacher was my first grade teacher, Miss Green. All right, thank you. Hello, what's your name? Thompson. Who's your favorite elementary uh, school teacher? Uh, my kindergarten teacher, Miss Rodriguez. Okay, thank you. Hello, what's your name? Axel. Who's your favorite elementary school teacher? My first grade teacher, Miss Rob. All right, thank you. Hello, what's your name? Nathan. Who's your favorite elementary school teacher? Miss Overholt. All right, thank you. What's your name? CD. Who's your favorite elementary school teacher? Miss Keychon. Thank you. <laughs> um, Brian. Who is your favorite elementary school teacher? Uh, my first grade teacher, Miss Savoy. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Clarence. Who is your favorite elementary school teacher? Miss Dodie. Okay, thank you. Chloe, who is your favorite elementary school teacher? So I think it's a toss up between my third grade teacher, Mrs. Owens, and my fourth and fifth grade teacher, Mrs. McCabe. They're both really nice to me, and I really needed that, the help that they gave me. Okay, thank you. Monday, January 16th is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and we will not have school. Tuesday, January 17th, and Wednesday, January 18th, we'll have minimum days. School gets out at 1.40 on those days. There will be no block schedule and no advisory for those days. What was your guys' first basketball game? All right, so we had two games this week. Uh, the sixth and seventh graders, they started off one and one. So they won one game, lost one game. Um, uh, we had great performances turned in by Filiberto Chase, yours truly here. And uh, Nam played some awesome defense. Thompson got some good rebounds. So the sixth and seventh grade, they came back nicely, won their second game. So even a record of 500. Eighth grade team is dominating right now. They uh, won both games by 20 points. Had leads up to 30 points in the second half, so they're really playing well. Great collective work by uh, Isaiah, Jamani, uh, Forrest, uh, Brandon, a lot of guys, everyone contributing. 
Arnell throwing in some deep threes, so we had some great effort by all the guys. Thank you for listening to this week's announcements. I am Gabe. And I am Chris. And we are signing off.